Welcome back to the channel, guys. Before we get into this, uh, remember the barbecue incident? Uh, still on the wall. I don't know if you can see it. It's probably off camera, but... Uh, I tried hard. We're going to try to figure something out. We have to get that off the wall. It's like not coming off. Oh, we're going to have to use like a magic eraser. Hey, will that work? That should work. All right, anyways, guys. Um, Boom. What is this? Mug root beer? Root beer. I got a little this thirsty. is just root beer. This is no brand. It's great value. Oh, Walmart brand. A and W root beer and, and Barks root beer. Well, uh, this is a lot of root beer. And this is the only ones we can find at the store. There's other root beers out there that's in the glass bottle that is a thousand times better than all of these. And if you guys like this uh, root beer thing enough, then maybe we can do another root beer taste testing. With, with the bottles. With the bottles or, you know, way better flavors, brands. Just let us know the brands in the comments below. But for now, we got the Mug Root Beer, Great Value, A&W, and Barks Root Beer. So, this is a Guess That Root Beer? Guess, Guess the That root, root, beer root Beer brand. I learned my lesson last time. I'm not telling you if you're right or not. Until oh, yeah, end. that's right. So, I'm going to have a stack that says you're right and a stack that says you're wrong. All right, start pouring. Okay. This ain't a lot, is it? No, I just put a, just a little bit in there. You could probably finish it off. There's a little bit more than that. Very vanilla -y. Very strong vanilla. Okay, so it's not great value. That's out of the park. We got Mug, Barks, and A&W. I'm going with A&W. Okay. A&W is the one I'm going with. I know Barks like the bathroom by hand. That was like a, a root beer float kind of flavor. That was good. Okay, here's this one. That one's really carbonated. That one's Barks Root Beer. Gotta be. Okay. Gotta be your Barks Root Beer. Yeah. You know, I thought I used to like Barks, but I don't anymore. That's definitely Barks. It's gotta be. I hope so, anyway. <laughs> here's this one. Oh, this is the most carbonated, but I'm definitely going with great value on this one. Yeah, that's great value. There's like no... It's just... It's just not as, like the first one was very creamy. The last one before that one, it was a Barks flavor. I've had that plenty of times. I thought that was my favorite root beer, but it's not. What I really like is the, from the Barks is their cream soda. Their cream soda is really good. You know, just, I'm just going to shut up. Okay, and we can do a one. cream soda one too. I'm going to be honest. If there was any one I would guess for it to be mug, it'd be this one. So, how many did I get right? Mug was the last one. I got all of them wrong? You got all of them wrong. You said that, I, the first one you had, that you said, there's no doubt, it's A&W, was great value. The creamy one. This was the best one? <laughs> it was great value. And you thought A&W was Barks. That's trash. And then Barks Get A&W out of here. <laughs> you said, I thought I liked Barks, but not anymore, and it was this one that you had. What did this one taste like? You said this one was A&W. Let me get another flavor. There's a little problem here. Now that you know all my answers and what they kind of taste like, you're gonna, you're gonna know like a cheat code. Pour me some of that. I can't believe you didn't know what the first one, like you said, there's no doubt this oh, is not. That's really carbonated. You said this was more carbonated than the Oh, that one was really carbonated. But the last one kind of made sense to be mug, but I got all of them wrong. This is the creamy one? That's the cheapest con. Wow. That's so, really good. You probably like that one more now. <laughs> Come on. I just told you that's really good. Well, this is cheating. You're going to know the answers. I like A&W. So, we have different tastes. This is crap. You know, <laughs> next time we have a taste testing thing, you're going first. Let me know in the comments uh, below if you think she cheated, if that wasn't right. I did not cheat. I think it wasn't right, because I kind of gave her a hint on this one. She's like, huh, okay, so that one's creamy. All right, I'll remember that when I'm blindfolded. <laughs> Here you go. I don't know why I put on. I should have left this off. A and W. Gotta be. Has the A and W taste? The great value. I'm wanting to say mug, but let me try the next one. Did you already do it? Oh, I was like. There you what? go. I say barks than mug. Huh? Did I already say? You mean Barks and Mug? Because I, I want to taste this one. Was The last one I said was Barks. So which one is the one you just said? This one I think is Mug. You got every single one of them wrong. Lion! <laughs> no. What was the last one I just tried? A&W. 
What? One before that was this one. If you want a really good root beer, taste, great value. Best one. What do you think? Very creamy? Yeah, what did, what did I say? You got none of them right. You said this was A&W. I really thought that was A&W. No. Alright, now what we're going to do, we're going to do a little bit of a bonus round. We're going to pick any two that we want, and you got to guess both of them. We're going to pick any two, mix them together, and you got to guess both root beers. Oh, no. I don't even, I guess all wrong. <laughs> At least I got one right. What is this, two points? You yeah. already got one point. We really don't know our root beers like we thought we did. Root beer is hard because it's all one flavor, really. It's just either carbonated or not. All right, there we go. Go. Oh. Wow. What? That was really impressive. Let me try it. Let me try it. That's pretty impressive. I like it. Gotta say, that is pretty good. Oh, I drank the rest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I needed another chance. Dang it. All right. Um, Barks and uh, um, Great Value. Wow. Was it? Yeah. You mixed the strongest with the creamiest. Yes. So I got two points and you got one right now. All right. You know what? I'm not even going to blindfold. Well, yes, I'm just going to do this and you pour two. And I'm, if I look at it, it's black. Am I going to know? You're, you're right. Well, and I shouldn't have been blindfolded. All right. But you was already kind of, what are you doing, man? I hit the root beer. Sounds like a creamy, creamy drop. Mm, that wasn't a creamy drop. <laughs> what? You thought you were slick there, moving the ones that you didn't use. No, I was using... I used Mug and Barks. Mm, that's got a great value look to it. I wanted them to be able to see me. It definitely has the cream in there. Mug and Great Value. Here's the thing. I know Great Value's in there for a couple reasons. I've seen the cream. Not only did I see the cream, but Great Value had a cream, a cream sound. That was the first one you poured in, too. So we are tied. Two and two. Did I get them? You got. You already had one point, so you only got one of them right. How are we tied then? Because you only guessed mug. It was not great value. Great value wasn't in there. No. I know it wasn't good enough to have great value. What do you think it is in there? Which one? I already said. I guess A and W. Yeah. Mm. The one you don't like, and you thought it was in there. Okay. Mug and A and W. So what do we do now? So now we're two and two. We tied. All right, we tied. If you guys like this video, don't forget to drop that like. Subscribe if you are new. And peace. peace.